Hello guys, welcome back. Let's talk about GPT-4. OpenAI study released GPT-4. I am surprised by the capabilities of GPT-4 and at the same time kind of disappointed also. Let's first go through main 10 key takeaways about GPT-4 and at the end of the video I will say why I am kind of disappointed. Before going through the capabilities or key takeaways of GPT-4, Let's go through one announcement that is done by Google also yesterday. So Google announces AI features in Gmail, Docs and more to rival Microsoft. So it says that the Google will soon offer ways to generate text and images using machine learning in its workspace products as part of the scramble to catch up with rivals in the new AI race. This news was kind of dominated by the GPT-4 announcement. I kind of think that OpenAI releases GPT-4 to denounce this announcement. I will explain why at the end of the video. But now let's go through the 10 key takeaways of GPT-4. GPT-4 now supports visual input, meaning that it is multimodal now. So you can have the visual as well as text input and the output will be the text. For example, they have given one example here, visual input, GPT-4 can accept images as inputs and generate captions, classifications and analyzes. So here is the example, what can I make with these ingredients? And there is egg, milk and uh, butter and flour and all these things. And the output says that there are many options for what you can make with these ingredients, some possibilities include pancakes, crepes, French toast and so on. Now GPT-4 is not only the language model but also the vision model. That's really good news. The next key takeaway is about the creativity of GPT-4. Here they are mentioning that GPT-4 is more creative and collaborative than ever before. It can generate, edit and iterate with users on creative and technical writing tasks such as composing songs, writing screenplays or learning a user's writing style and they have given one example here. But I was surprised by the fact that in the demonstration they saw that they are taking the picture of the image or the text, handwritten text and that was converted into the website. It, it creates HTML, CSS, JavaScript all at the same time. That was really impressive and really creative. I will link the video in the description. You can also go through it and watch and it was really impressive to see how it is done. So yeah, GPT-4 is big model and it should be creative of course because if it is no, if it is not creative then why should they even release GPT-4? But the fact that it was that creative, that's really impressive. GPT-4 surpasses chat GPT in its advanced reasoning capabilities. This was really good also. Here it says that they are, they are providing the input. For example, they are providing the three times of three different people and it, they are asking to suggest a meeting. Before with chat GPT, it was confused and as you can see here, it provides the meeting time as 4 p.m. which was, which was incorrect. But in GPT-4, the same input was provided and the output was accurately predicted because all of these three users had the free slot at 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. So it was providing the correct time for the meeting. Well, by just going through this example, it seems that there is some kind of reasoning capabilities also in GPT-4. GPT-4 now can handle longer context. That was one of the problem many people were facing because when they type or they give input for chat GPT, then it complains that the text was too long because I think the, it just allows 10 to 12,000 uh, words before. But now GPT-4 is capable of handling over 25,000 words of text, allowing for use cases like long form content creation, extended conversations and documentation source and analysis. So here as an example, they have passes, okay, text from, and they are passing the URL, the Wikipedia and describe her Super Bowl uh, performance and what made it special. So they are asking something about Rihanna in the Super Bowl and it actually goes through the page and extracted the information and provided in a short summary form. So that is really helpful and I think this is 
really good uh, that we can now have more context in the GPT-4. GPT-4 is now better at many languages. As you can see here in the 24 of 26 languages tested, GPT-4 outperforms the English language performance of GPT-3.5 and other LLMs, including for low resource languages such as Latvian, Wales and Swahili. Now let's talk about steerability. Rather than the classic chat GPT personality with a fixed verbosity, tone and style, developers and soon chat GPT users can now prescribe their AI style and task by describing those directions in the system message. So we can now provide information to the system or we can provide a message to the system to do certain task. Exam one of the example is here about the steerability is the Socratic tutor. So for the system, they have provided some information. As you can see here, you are a tutor that always responds to the, uh, that always responds in the Socratic style. You never give the student the answer, but always try to ask just the right question to help them learn to think for themselves. You should always tune your question to the interest and knowledge of the student, breaking down the problem into simpler parts until it's at just the right level for them. You can provide some information to the system and then you can start having the conversation with GPT-4. This is really helpful in the academic world because many people just ask questions to GPT-4 and then it provides the answer right away. But you can have something on the system itself which does not provide you the answer right away, but it will, it will have a conversation with you and it helps people learn new things instead of directly having answers. Uh, provided to them and they have provided the example of mathematics here I hope because many people have complained that GPT or chat GPT is, is not that good in maths so they have actually provided the example of math just to prove that okay we are improving in this field also now let's talk about why I was kind of disappointed because here they said that the given both the competitive landscape and the safety implications of large scale models like GPT-4 this report contains no further details about the architecture, including model size, hardware, training compute, data set construction, training method or similar. I was surprised by the fact that they are publishing report and then they are not providing what they used to train the model. I am seeing how OpenAI is moving forward after Microsoft uh, became the partner of OpenAI. Instead of being OpenAI, it seems that they are going towards closed AI soon. I know that Google is also developing many AI tools and there is a competition in the market. But seeing that there is a competition and not providing the uh, model information or the architecture uh, information does not seem that right, at least for me. Now let's talk about the companies that are already using uh, GPT-4 behind the scenes. It seems that Duolingo is using GPT-4 depends the conversation and be my eyes use a GPT-4 to transform visual accessibility. Stripe is also using to streamline user experience and combat fraud. And Morgan Stanley, it's using for health management uh, to organize its vast knowledge base. Khan Academy explores the potential for GPT-4 in a limited pilot program. So it's good to see and also there is uh, government of Iceland using GPT-4 to preserve its language. It's good to see that already GPT-4 is being used in different perspective and different platforms. That's really good to see these different uh, companies using GPT-4. And now maybe there are many, many companies using GPT-4. Let's see how it goes. Now let's talk about the limitations of GPT-4 also. Here they have mentioned that GPT-4 still has many known limitations that we are working to address such as social biases, hallucinations and adversarial prompts. We encourage and facilitate uh, transparency, user education and wider AI literacy as society adopts these models. We also aim to expand the avenues of input people have in shaping our models. And also one limitation is that I was surprised to read that, that the knowledge cutoff was still September 2021. So after that, the model does not have any information after September 2021. 
although the previous person also has the same cut of knowledge i was surprised that they would have trained this with the latest knowledge at least better than the last gpt model but it seems that the the knowledge cut off is, is still back to september 2021 gpt4 can be assessed via chat gpt plus so they have said that chat gpt plus subscribers will get gpt4 assess on chat.openai.com with a huge cap still there is a cap with that we will adjust the exact usage cap depending on demand and system performance in practice they are not giving access to the users who have not subscribed to their chat gpt plus and also the api let's talk about api to get access to the gpt4 api which uses the same chat completions api as gpt 3.5 turbo please sign up for our wait list so api is not yet there we just need to sign up and wait until they provide access to the api and here they have also given that okay, okay gpt4 has a context length of 8192 tokens we are also providing limited access to this 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 and how much it cost and all these things well in the demonstration yesterday they have used the playground to show all the information and i tried in the playground with gpt 3.5 turbo 0301 also and the gpt 3.5 turbo but the result is not the same as you can see here it's not being updated in the playground in the playground as you see here with the example that they have mentioned in the website the answers will be from 12 to 12 30 right but here it's it's not giving the right answer meaning that the playground is not yet updated so it's just only for them to show the demonstration not for the users at least for now okay so these uh, are all the 10 uh, key takeaways that i have seen from the articles and from the blog post and all these things but let's talk about why i was a little bit disappointed let's say that visual input well they say that it it now supports visual input and it is a visual vision model but it does it's in the preview stage now we cannot use it so why release the gpt4 or advanced version of gpt model when not everything is ready why should they just uh, release the gpt api two weeks before and now they are uh, releasing gpt4 i don't think that this is right time for them to publish gpt4 model i don't know if that is because they are partnered with microsoft and they are now moving towards how to make money and having rival with google so google yesterday uh, announces AI features in Gmail Docs and more to rival uh, Microsoft as I said before are they just releasing GPT-4 to tackle or demolish this information or announcement from Google I have no idea but for me at least it was not the right time because if you if you give the information to the public then public should be able to use it right there is a war going on between Google and Microsoft they want to be ahead in the race I don't know but let's see but despite the fact that the visual input and all the other things are not quite yet there going through all the information it seems that it's more powerful than the previous model and there will be more use cases coming in the future but before ending this video there is a way how you can use gpt4 uh, not in the playground because it is not updated in the playground still and we cannot use if you cannot use if you are not subscribed to the uh, chat gpt plus but you can go through the bing chat by the way bing chat has already been updated to uh, chat updated to gpt4 so here is a news which says that confirm the new bing runs on open ai's gpt4 so congratulations to our partners at open ai for the release of gpt4 today so meaning that as soon as the gpt4 was released behind the scene uh, bing was also updated to support the uh, gpt4 and I actually tested if that was the case. Here, I asked the same question that was being asked in the article. When I tried this same question in the playground, it gave the wrong answer, meaning that that is not updated. But here, when I try, it says that based on the information you provided, it looks like Andrew, Hanna, and Yohanne are all available at noon for 30 minute meeting. Is there anything else I can help with? So, this is really good. From this, answer also we can see that bing has already been updated by the way i even asked one more question 
uh, about this longer context. So here I give the same text from HTTP, uh, this uh, Wikipedia of Rihanna and describe her Super Bowl performance and what made it special. So it went through the article and it summarizes. Rihanna performed at the Apple Music Super Bowl uh, LVII halftime show on February 12, 2023 at State Farm uh, Stadium in Arizona. And then it gives all the information as also it gives the references from where it is taking from. It, so these two examples proves that the Bing chat is already updated to GPT-4. By the way, if you haven't used Bing chat before, I'm planning to create a video about Bing chat soon. So stay tuned. Okay, this is all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.